shots. I mean, I thought we were close on a lot of those shots. Uh, they're going to continue to shoot them. And, uh, you know, they put a lot of pressure on your defense to have to contain the paint, uh, keep them in front of you, and get out to the three-point line. You know, they hit some shots uh, in that second half. I thought, you know, a lot of them, uh, we were right there. And, I mean, you have to sometimes you just have to give teams cre credit. Uh, for executing and, and making shots uh, the second half. You guys talked last week after the Boston game about there being a next level of team that you guys are aspiring to be. Is this one of those teams also? No question. No question. You know, that's exactly what I told our guys. Uh, you know, these are very, very good teams. And, uh, you know, it's going to be a challenge to uh, not only play the defend them, uh, but execute offensively against them. I thought we settled tonight. Uh, on the perimeter, only six free throw attempts by us uh, tonight. Uh, we shot, what, seven of 28 from the three-point line and just not uh, enough uh, attacking the basket. Uh, when we did attack the basket, we scored. We had 60 points in the paint, but uh, I thought we settled a little bit too much on the perimeter. Uh, Thad was seemingly one of those guys who attacked the basket tonight. He had a nice uh, bounce back game tonight. Yeah, we just, you know, I thought you, when we recognize uh, the matchups and we, when we had an advantage and we dropped the ball into the post to our bigs, uh, we got something good. And uh, I thought really was too many times we just settled for uh, on their switches, shooting the ball from the three-point line, settling uh, for contested shots as opposed to uh, continuing to attack the rim um, and, and force them to defend. Thank you.